Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EJ comes to an agreement with both Sloan and Leo and Rafe and Jada deduce, spoiler, killed Lee after Pickleball, Stephanie and Everett Badenage as they sit at a table in the cantina. Her leg cramps over, and he massages her. Stephanie remarks how glad she's that they did this. At the station, Rafe tells Jada the lab is recycling the blood set up on Clyde's black book. They re-agitated for their first real lead, but lament not being suitable to crack the law. Jada hopes Harris has further luck with his non-military intelligence musketeers. As they stay for the results, Jada tells Rafe that after going through a box full of cold case lines, she's indeed more motivated to bring Clyde and Goldman to justice. She would end add them to the pile. As Ava and Kristen belt from mugs in front of a fire at the Demera manse, Kristen reminisces about their time in the cloister. Ava wants to know why she really invited her over. Failing to play innocent, Kristen admits she needs information about Li Shin. Furthers.w.a.t faces explosive situation in season homestretch Eric carries his camera bag as he and Nicole come to the domain. She laments her disastrous mama's day and Holly abhorring her. As they stay for a contact, who's late, they find Leo passed out behind the bench. Announcement at home, Sloan sighs to Jude that Eric is working with Nicole while they're home alone. Is this how it'll always be? Or will it all come crashing down? A solemn EJ comes over. Concluding he got the DNA results attesting her story, Sloan asks what he's going to do about it. EJ doesn't know, but he's fascinated by how she pulled this off. He assumes she had help. Sloan says it was all her. Sloan glares further not dead, yet cancelled, she recounts how Dimitri showed up at her door with Jude. Since he was a fugitive, he gave her Nicole's baby, to bring to the sanitarium herself. Since she's a counsel, she was suitable to fake the paperwork on her own. Leo only set up out after Dimitri blackmailed her into getting Leo's charges dropped. EJ grievances that Dimitri had to have assumed the baby was his, and still chose his nut over him. Sloan wants to know what his plan is for Leo. Regarding the cold cases at the station, Jada tells Rafe she hates not getting answers. She recounts how after she and Bobby met, he asked for help getting information on his mama, who suddenly left when he was a little boy. It visited him indeed times latterly. Rafe asks if they had any good times. Jada says they did at first, but he was ent the man she allowed. He was. But now, she can move on with the most awful man, who she loves with all her heart. They kiss. At the cantina, Stephanie and Everett enjoy further badinage while ignoring about Seattle. The woman, Alana, who Bobby hit on the other night, enters. Bobby? Hey, she says while heading for the bar. Who was that? Stephanie asks. Everett has no idea. At the Demera manse, Ava insists she knows nothing about Lee's death, but Kristen assumes there's commodity she's not saying. Ava gets protective, but Kristen insists she's just trying to help her family out. They re on the same runner. Anyhow, Ava does and suppose there's anything she can do to help. At Sloan's, EJ ominously states he'll deal with Leo. Sloan appeals to him to keep this secret so as not to blow up their separate marriages. EJ wonders what kind of amoral bastard would he be not to tell Nicole that her baby is alive. He suggests he bring Nicole her baby, but still claim it's his. Sloan does and suppose he ll want to raise Eric's son, who'll ultimately look and sound like him. EJ agrees, but is still doubtful. Sloan begs EJ not to rip the little boy from the only family he's ever known. As Eric and Nicole help Leo to his Salem in room, Nicole asks Leo why he's doing this to himself. Leo sorely says it's because the love of his life wrote him a dear John letter and rendered his heart broken beyond form. Nicole promises effects will get better. He asks if effects got better for the two of them. They agree it did. Sure, Jan, Leo says. Whatever you two lovebirds say. He rambles about wanting to help Nicole be happier, but he does not want to hurt Eric. 
When Nicole expresses confusion, Leo says, Did EJ not tell you? and passes out. Eric recalls Leo doing the same thing to him last time. They agree to leave to let him sleep it off. Further, have we seen the last of, spoiler? In his Salem in bed, a rumpled Leo gapes at EJ's phone. His brow cramps and his mouth hangs open laterally, EJ gives Leo coffee. Leo does ent flashback, letting him into his room and asks where Nicole and Eric are. He recalls wanting to tell them the verity about Jude, but he does ent suppose he did. EJ orders Leo no way to tell them the verity. He holds up his phone screen to Leo, who's rendered speechless. For a continuance of his discretion, EJ will transfer him a veritably generous quantum of plutocrat. Leo mulls it over and eventually accepts, but looks equivocal. EJ trials, the spurt, setting life Leo will now be suitable to enjoy. Still, if he ever breaks their agreement, EJ will make sure Leo does and have a life. He smiles. Do we understand each other? Impeccably, Leo glumly says. Further Eddie's infidelity could pave way for a 911 relationship at the station. Rafe finds a report of an unidentified woman set up in the forest land wearing an Argyle sweater. Jada takes a near look, as Rafe answers a call from the lab. They got Gil's partial print off the book and matched the blood to Lee. After Rafe calls Harris with the news, he and Jada wonder how to prove Gil killed Lee. A reticent Everett addresses to Alana, a youthful woman of Asian descent, who leans against the pub's bar. Further, the one thing days would end do with Janelle's baby at the cantina, Stephanie prodigies if Everett knows the woman at the bar from Seattle. Perhaps he should talk to her. Everett says perhaps he will, but more importantly, he invites Stephanie to regale in Chicago. She says it sounds great and leaves for work. Everett approaches the woman and asks when they met. Unsettled, she reminds him and also leaves to have lunch someplace differently. After Ava hangs up with Harris at the manse, she hesitantly tells Kristen the lab results came back. They prove Gabby did and kill Lee, Kristen realizes Ava knows who did. Ava confirms. Can Rafe and Jada's shocking pact with Stefan and Kristen truly free Gabby? Days of our lives, DOOL, spoilers and updates pose the question, can Rafe Hernandez, Galen Gehring, and Jada Hunters, Elia Cantu, shocking pact truly free Gabby Hernandez, formerly Camila Banas? Rafe and Jada have teamed up with Kristen D. Mara, Stacey Hayduk, and Stefan D. Mara, Brandon Barish, to find out who really killed Lee Shin, Remington Hoffman. Days of our life spoilers, a compromising position and particular substantiation observers will flash back how Gabby was arrested for the murder of Lee, her ex-husband. She came to the apartment just vacated by Trip Johnson, Lucas Adams, and Wendy Shin, Victoria Grace. DOL spoilers can Rafe and Jada's shocking pact with Stefan and Kristen truly free Gabby. She walked in on a horrible sight, Lee bleeding out on the kitchen bottom with a cutter in his reverse which she removed just as Stefan and Wendy and Tripp walked by. Wendy did not believe Gabby did not murder her family because of the dysfunction between the two spouses, and soon the police came and arrested her. Lee was still alive and taken to the sanitarium, but was unfit to name his bushwhacker, and with Gabby's fingerprints on the cutter it was an open and shut case. Gabby made the mistake of replying rather of acting, and she's been in Statesville ever ago. DOL spoilers, Gil Carter's black book changes effects it seems like an odd platoon to get Gabby vindicated, Kristen helping Stefan, but that's what's passing, Kristen preliminarily had questions for Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, about two deaths. There were two people who met their death in that apartment first, Clyde Weston's, James Reed, henchman Gil Carter, David's. Lee, and also Lee. Vindicated?